linchpin. A linchpin is a quick release pin that gets inserted crosswise as through the end of an axle or shaft and serves to hold together parts or elements that exist or function as a unit. It is a fastener used to prevent a wheel or other parts from sliding off an axle upon which it is riding. They contain a pin and self-locking ring which snaps into place to securely hold the assembly together. Standard stock shank diameters range from 3 16 to 7 16 Custom sizes are available upon request. For loss prevention, add a wire rope lanyard and affix it to the piece of equipment or machinery. Moving on to the guide. Lynch pins are composed of 15 digit smart part codes. All important attributes of the pin are broken up into categories and listed out on the part code guide. Follow the color-coded guide to translate the description into an innovative component's part number. Located at the bottom of each guide is the layout of the smart part code. Use this to guide you when creating a part number. To start, take notice that the product listed in red is called a linchpin. All linchpin part numbers will be a two-digit designator taking up the very first two spaces. All linchpins will start with an LP. Next, we move on to the orange section labeled pin diameter. All diameters will be listed within four digits in spaces number 3, 4, 5, and 6 of the part code. Each fractional diameter will be entered into the part number in a fractional format. There is no translation in this section. 3 16 is entered into the part code as 3 slash 1 6. A quarter is entered into the part code as 1 slash 4. Take notice that we have four placeholders for pin diameter, but in some cases, like the quarter, we only have three placeholders being taken up. In this case, we move on to the next section immediately. Next, in placeholder number seven, we automatically enter an X, which means by. We are stating the diameter by the effective length, similar to length times width. In cases of a quarter inch pin, we place the X right after the 4 in the quarter. That would go in placeholder number 6. Everything moves over by one digit. Next, we move on to the green section called the effective usable or grip length. There are five places allocated to this attribute located in spaces number 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 of the part code. The effective length is written exactly as it is called out without any translation. If the effective or grip length is one and a quarter, it is written one dash one slash four. In cases where the denominator of the fraction is a sixteenth or thirty second, we use six places in the part number, writing into the special spot, leaving no room for specials. Next, we move on to the blue section called specials. We have one placeholder in field number thirteen for specials. Typically, an X would be entered into the space articulating that there is something special or custom about this part if it is stated in the description. In cases where there is nothing special to note, we enter a dash in the space. Next, we move on to the fuchsia attribute called pin material. This section is in regards to what type or grade of material the pin is made out of. We allocate one space in the space holder number 14 for the material of the pin. Common materials are listed out, but stock standards or most popular materials are highlighted in bold font. The standard steel or grade 2 steel becomes a 2 in a part code. A grade 8 steel becomes an 8 in a part code. Lastly, we move on to the gray attribute called plating. Plating is a coating of metal used to serve as a rust inhibitor. We reserve one space in space holder number 15 for the plating of the pin. Common platings are listed out. Zinc and yellow, which is a zinc or gold plating, is the most popular plating of these pins, so you will often see a 2 in this placeholder. Now that we know how to use the part code guide, let's move on to the practice quiz and put it to use. Lynch pin quiz. Number 1. Quarter by one and a quarter lynch pin steel zinc and yellow for starters the product is going to be coded as an lp next we move on to the pin diameter this is a quarter inch diameter which would equal one slash four within the part code in this case because there's only three digits used up in the diameter we automatically move on and place an x 
right after a quarter. The X serves as the by, so it's a quarter by one and a quarter. Next we move on to the green section for effective length. One and a quarter is the effective length. We would enter in one dash one slash four in the green section. Then we move on to the blue section for specials. There's nothing special to note here, so we would enter in a dash. In cases of a quarter inch diameter pin, we enter two dashes into specials to make up for the digit we dropped in diameter. Then we move on to the fuchsia section, or pin material. This particular pin's material is steel, also known as grade two low carbon steel, or our standard steel. This would translate into a two for the fuchsia or number 14 spot. Then we move on to the plating section in gray. Number one says zinc and yellow. Zinc and yellow is a yellow plated part. Therefore, we would enter a two in the gray section. This part number would read as follows. LP one slash four X one dash one slash four dash dash two two. Number two. 3 16 by 1 and an eighth linchpin, steel, zinc, and yellow. The part code will start out as an LP. Then we identify the diameter, which is 3 16 3 16 would be written out 3 slash 1 6. Then we put an automatic X for by. Moving on, we look at the effective length. The effective length of number 2 is 1 and an eighth. We would write that out 1 dash 1 slash 8. Next we move on to the specials. There's nothing special to note here. Go ahead and place a dash in this placeholder. Then we move on to the pink or fuchsia section, identifying the material. Number two says steel. Steel would translate to a two in this section. Then we move on to the plating. The plating on number two is zinc and yellow. Zinc and yellow translates to a two. This part number would be called out LP three slash one six x one dash one slash eight dash two two number three seven sixteenths by one in nineteen thirty seconds linchpin steel zinc in yellow to begin the part code is going to start out with an lp then we identify the pin diameter number three says seven sixteenths so 7 sixteenths would be written into the part code as 7 slash 1 6. Then we place the X or the by into the part number. Moving on to the green section or effective length, we notice the effective length is 1 in 1930 seconds. Notice there are more than five spaces used up to articulate 1 in 1930 seconds. In this case, we would enter in 1 dash 1 9 slash 3 and then we would put a 2 into the material. The 1 in 1930 seconds dimension has 7 placeholders where we only have spaces for 5 in the effective length and we run into the specials area. Coincidentally the material is a grade 2 steel. Therefore 1 dash 1930 seconds can also read 1 in 1930 seconds because the 2 in the 30 seconds actually falls into the material location which is also a 2. For plating in the gray section we see zinc and yellow. Zinc and yellow translates to a 2. So this part code would read LP 7 slash 1 6 by or X 1 dash one nine slash three two two. Please complete the rest of the quiz. Good luck.